Good morning! A bit of putting practice. And why not? We all need to do it before we go out and play. But are you guilty of this? Are you one of these guys who just takes a couple of balls and basically bats them backwards and forwards? Never really gets down and looks at the line. Doesn't read the green. Just knock them backwards and forwards. Burning a little time before you've got to go to the first tee. Well, let me tell you something. You aren't learning anything. Now, you may say, oh, I'm learning the pace of the green, but since when did this green bear any resemblance to the greens out on the golf course? Some clubs, you really would not want to use their putting green for 20 footers before you go out and play. So are you guilty of this, just aimlessly burning a few minutes and learning nothing? You'll never see me doing this, that's for certain. So in the previous exercise, what have we done? Well, we've confirmed to ourselves that we always miss. I'd rather do the opposite. I'd rather confirm to myself that I never miss. So I'm going to practice probably the most important putts that you are going to have today. That's about 44 inches. If you miss every one of these today, your score is going to be miserable. If you hole every one of these today, your score is going to be pretty damn good. So I've picked a putt, as I say, about a putter length and a grip, 44 inches. It's a bit left to right. It's a bit left edge. A little bit of a shove straight off the bat. But now I'm going to confirm to myself, really, that I don't miss. There's nothing better than the rattle of a golf ball. It sure beats the hell out of knocking 20 footers backwards and forwards and missing. Now, each time I do this, I will pick a different putt. Today, I have picked a left edge. If I play tomorrow, I'll probably pick something that's right to left. If I was doing a full practice, then obviously I'd do the circle drill. I would go all 360 degrees round this hole. But just as a warm-up before golf, this is what to do. But what about lagging? Well, I'm going out here 60 feet. I don't do this very often. I don't feel the need. But when I do, I'll go the full length of the green and I'm going to pick something with some serious borrow. So the first two thirds of this is left to right. Then I come down the slope, which is going to throw it even further right. And then the last third towards the camera is right to left. So I spend a long time reading this. I mean, it's 60 feet. I've got 60 feet of putt to read. So I take my time over it. Now I'm going to get a feel for the putt. So what I do is I take a swing, I take a practice swing, and then I look at the hole. And I wonder, have, is that swing long enough to get the ball to the hole? So I'm imagining the ball rolling the full 60 feet. And once the practice swing feels the correct length, then I putt. And I do this out on the golf course as well. If I've got 60 feet on the, out on the golf course, I will take my time reading it. It takes a long time to read 60 feet. And then I'll have two or three strokes until I feel it is long enough to actually get the ball to the hole. Now what is my target here? Is my target that four and a quarter inch hole? Well, no it's not. 
my target is an eight foot diameter circle. That is huge. And because that is huge, I am relaxed. My grip is light, which is essential for long putting. It's a very light grip. And if you've practiced your three and a half footers, as I did earlier, there's no pressure on you. Anything inside that eight foot diameter circle is a fine putt. And as you've seen in my videos, every now and then, without any pressure, I can hold one. Sadly, not today. Last my practice putting in a nutshell really, three and a half to four feet and a few long lags. So uh, now you also know why I have a beard. It's because I'm as ugly as sin. Cheerio. So what are you going to do the next time you've got 10 or 15 minutes to burn before you tee off? You're certainly not going to do this. All you are confirming is that you don't hold anything. Instead, what I would suggest is you do a bit of this. This confirms that you do hold absolutely everything. Cheerio.